Okay, so we're in the beautiful community of Akompong Town in St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. And guess what, guys? We're going to do a tour of the community. So stay tuned. Come and chat with Tanya, everyone from different culture. Learn the Jamaican structure, just like, share, and subscribe, yeah. We're in the beautiful community of Akompong in St. Elizabeth, Jamaica. And today on Chat Jamaica, we have with us Mark, a.k.a. Kutu. Take it away. Yeah. Good morning and welcome to Akompong. This village goes by the name of Akompong, which bears the name of Kojo's second brother. Who was Kojo? Kojo was a great man who led the guerrilla warfare with the Maroons against the British from the 16 up to the 1700. When the British soldiers got defeated and signed a document called the Peace Treaty, giving us rights and privilege to be a self-governing body inside of Jamaica. It's not only a compound, it's the only remaining Maroon settlement in Jamaica. You have Charleston, which is in Portland, okay. Morton, which is in Portland, and Scottsall, which is in St. Mary. Also, there was one Maroon settlement in St. James, which was called Maroon Town, but those Maroon were exiled back to Halifax in Canada, from Halifax up to Nova Scotia and from Nova Scotia right back to Sierra Leone in Africa. But at the present, we the Maroons of a compound are a self-governing body, okay. which governed by a colonel, which we run election every five years. When one becomes the colonel, he or she in turn select members and work as what we call a council or a cabinet. It's just like the parliament. Okay, just like how the Jamaican government, government would operate. <clears throat> yes. So the colonel would select member and the colonel would see day-to-day -day life and living of the people of the village. Like, we are still a crime-free village which over 282 years now it's only three cases of murder that ever happened here. Right at the present we are three standing cases. three cases of murder and that like good. basically only one person gets sentenced for one of them because it was like a long long time ago and he go and learn a trade and most of the houses building a compound up to the 80s he was the one who learned the trade in prison oh. and come back with a trade and build it. Houses and, the houses and he, he teaches son and more youths how to do mason and carpentry work and that they are carrying on his legacy right now yes, so he, that person is still alive no he passed away around october last year Right, this monument now has been is built in honor of the great leader Captain Kojo. He's not actually buried at this spot where he's buried is so deep and intense in the mountain that not everyone would come and have a possibility to view the monument or his shrine. But in 1980, this monument was unveiled and it was built by the Jamaica National Heritage Trust and we maintain it for so many years. But if you take a close look on this monument, you see K O J O or C U D J O. The K O J O is the African way of pronouncing Kojo. And the C U D J O is the English way because after the signing of the treaty, even the church came in and started with their missionaries and started to change in our name by christening and baptizing the people of the community and changing their name from African names and giving them English name and also started to teach English language. If you check right now, there's not a lot of persons here can speak a lot of fluent African language. Just the other day, I, I hooked up with a university called Tree because the original language is Tree. So we are try building back the whole aspect of the language and stuff. Beyond the monument now, as we walk over, This, this, as you see, this is marked a seal ground 
A seal ground is regarded as holy ground. These grounds, based upon our ancestors, were from Africa. They do rituals. If you happen to say, a seal ground is regarded as holy ground, which revival meetings sometimes called poker were held. If you happen to go to what they call a bam yard or a reed man or a poker man or a obia man, you would see they have a different seal with flags and things. When you go to their place of work, you, they would tell you to walk around their seal repeating the 23rd Psalm. But based upon our background as African people, our ancestors spiritually build these seals and these seals were like things to protect against evil forces i'm gonna take you to an instance and show you a seal because seal is built up with a white basin four bottles with water instance of a seal instance of a seal is like holy spirit or people would say they're, they're pulling fallen angel but i'm gonna take you now and show you an instance of a seal that most revival persons use because even up until today we have a lot of different revival group that comes here and when they come here they come here and they would bring their ritual they do sacrifice and stuff It's an instance of a seal. If you see it make like a cross, and you see you have four bottles of water. If you go to what they call a bomb yard or a reader man, he'd use this water in this basin to like wash it to cleanse you. So if you come with destruction, they would wash you off with the destruction, uh, wash the destruction off. And if you're in a soul is sick, they can give you some of this water which they say is holy water to drink. <laughs> Often time we have revival groups that come here. If you can notice you see candles, you can look you see candles here. Revival group and different different people come and they will bring their offering. If oftentimes persons would come and they would do what they call sacrifice or offering. Persons I witness persons bring like peas, rice, meat, wine, beer, rum, everything. Because in this glass, this glass personally is a fill with rum. So when it fill with rum, it's like you're setting it there for the ancestors so they would come and have a drink. Mm -hmm. And revival persons always come and they would they would beat drum, do their thing like their kyango burn incense and thing. But if you if the gentleman that lives here, because this era is such a powerful year, that's why he still have to keep the tradition by putting up a flag and putting up the base and maintain the whole aspect of the ancestor. It's not like he's a voodoo man or a reader man, but because of the rich history that we have, he has he to maintain, maintain the, tradition. the tradition. Okay. Yeah. So what, what would you call the person who oversees all of this? You have like father, you have reader man, you have like governess different different persons who because often time i come and check this and sometimes when the basin like corrode will wash wash it out and change the water we have in persons that come here and dig deep in their ancestral thing they would put coin in here so the coin or the paper money anything that's what we take to filter like sometimes we we'll put rum here Yeah. So is this tradition still active? Yeah man, even for the last festival, there are a lot of people getting a spell which is called Mayal. Mayal? Mayal is, a, is like the interaction of the life with the dead. Wow. Like the dead would interact with you and you're like in a trance. Mm -hmm. When you get in that trance, you, you don't know nothing. Wow. And when you get out of that, you can relate to the wider cross-section and the community and the nation and tell them what's going to transpire. Just like you'd see some poker people would say they're in some town square warning about bloodshed and thing. Mile is a similar spell. Just like in St. Thomas, mm -hmm. they do Kumina. So you know, Kumina and Mile is the interaction that the slaves brought over from Africa. Okay. So once you're in Mile, you can, if somebody is sick, you can just run. Like the spirit would so tell I you to run. I can't go in Mile. 
anybody can go in it oh. if the spirit want to to oh, okay so but, have you have have you ever had an experience like that before with myself yeah awesome. <laughs> no i know there are things that you can use secret that way okay. there are things that you can use to control by not going into that you know okay yeah but person who probably i witnessed even tourists come here and kids like it was a black history month and we were playing drum mm -hmm. and one child said that is foolishness and immediately by, by him don't say foolishness him don't know where he is again uh, and when that happened we have to use a lot of rum mm -hmm. and thing because rum is one of the things that we use to invoke the street not the jb rum but original white proof rum even when we have our festival we use a lot of rum even when we're playing drum is that the rum that you call kulu kulu no oh. we can't use that we have to use the overproof rum i could recall Are one instance yeah one instance if most people die here we go they are at the mug mm -hmm. and we're going for them we go down with the procession with the drum and like a pickup and the singers and thing and i could recall one time we went for a body but the, the family them supposed to give us the rum and when we go they send us with a bottle of JB or the same Kolo Kolo and when we were waiting on the hearse by the hearse was like two chains away Could, I was on that tree reasoning with a bridging because and when we take everybody was in the spell and when we go there and smell the room but lucky thing it was a bar so I just run in the bar and order some room and use that room and everything come and that's how we could move from there to come up with it casket and everything and the festival is usually in january every year january 6th i'm gonna okay. take i'm gonna take six i'm gonna take you to a spot where why six because that's my birthday so me and you're playing with then that's <laughs> mine too really right. okay good so good morning <laughs> my name is mark right and welcome to a compound Thank you for watching Chat Jamaican. Thanks to Mark Wright, known as Kutu, for sharing his rich culture with us about the Akompong Maroons. Tune in to part two of the program, and I do hope that you enjoy. Like, share, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Lico more. Alright, go on. You know ketchup here. Oh, the sign? Yeah. So we're coming back. Just like, share, and subscribe, yeah.